Hi, I'm Jeff Mawson, Application Engineer here at Advantech. Today I'll be demonstrating how to reset the BIOS on a motherboard. Uh, today we will be using an ACP 2320 MB 2U chassis rack mount system uh, with an Intel Core 2 Duo processor. Uh, some reasons you might need to reset the BIOS on your system uh, are you might not be getting any video output when you start up, uh, you might be getting abnormal beep sounds or other uh, odd sounds when you first start, or really anything that uh, prevents your computer from booting. Please be sure to follow proper grounding procedure uh, whenever you work inside your computer. Okay, so the whole process for the BIOS reset is you want to first remove your power source and give the computer a couple seconds to uh, dissipate the power. Uh, next, you'll need to find your CMOS battery or BIOS battery. Uh, it's a coin cell battery, usually around here. And then you'll also need to find your uh, CMOS jumper, or might be labeled as a BIOS jumper. Uh, and in this system, it's right here, labeled as CMOS 1. So we will first remove the CMOS battery. It just pops right out. Place that aside. Uh, and then we move the jumper from the current position to the other position. Just move it one pin over. Uh, wait about five ten seconds. And then um, put it back. Put your BIOS battery back in. And uh, reconnect your power. Alright, let's go ahead and boot it up see if we fix the problem. We have here an Advantech FPM 5150G flat panel 15 inch monitor. Let's power it up. You may notice you'll get a beep or other indication that the BIOS is reset the first time and it may take a little bit extra time to start. And uh, as you see it started up but it did say uh, CMOS checksum error. That's expected uh, because the CMOS has been erased. You're going to want to uh, go into your BIOS to check your settings, uh, see if there's any settings you need to reset. Uh, if you're good with the default setting, you can just hit F1 to continue. And we're back in the BIOS. Change whatever you need. If you're not sure what you want to change, it's good to go to the uh, last section, the exit section, and say load optimal defaults and then save and exit changes. And then you're all set. That will conclude our demonstration of resetting the BIOS, part of our Advantech iPlanet series. For more information, please visit us at buy.advantech.com. Thanks for watching.